Welcome everybody this afternoon to this beautiful sunny evening or afternoon. <laughs> that is the sun out there. It's not a, a weather balloon. Okay. <laughs> Erica and Krista, thank you very much for asking me to come and officiate over your legal marriage ceremony today. Today you'll be married according to the orders, customs and authority granted by the government of the province of Alberta. I'm going to ask you to please step forward and join your hands together. The hands you are holding today are the hands you have chosen to be your partner in life. These hands are going to be there to love you and to cherish you. They're going to be there to support you in times of challenge and in times of joy. They'll be there to encourage you to fulfill your dreams and they will celebrate with you in all of your accomplishments. Keep these hands tender and keep them gentle as you continue to build your life together in this marriage. And with this, Eric and Krista wish to be joined in matrimony. Therefore, if there's any person here that can show me just a sufficient reason why these two may not be joined in matrimony, now's the time for you to declare those reasons, or from this time forward, keep your peace. Eric, I'm going to begin with you. Would you please repeat after me? I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, Eric James Bennett, may not be joined in matrimony to Krista J. Van Ness. Krista, please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do sol solemnly declare that I do not know of. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Any lawful impediment. Why I, why I, Krista J. Van Ness, Krista J. Van Ness may not, may not be joined in matrimony. Be joined in matrimony to Eric James Vanish. To Eric James Vanish. Now, I'm going to ask you both some questions together, and when I'm done, I'd like a separate answer, please, from each of you. Do you both promise to love each other, comfort each other, and support each other through all the changing and challenging experiences this life will hold before you? Will you share equally all of the necessities of life that may be earned by you or enjoyed by you? And do you promise to respect the dignity of each other's personal rights? I do. I do. Vows. Eric, I'm going to begin with you. Did you guys no. No. Okay. No. Oh, no. Okay, good. I, Eric. I, Eric. Take you, Krista. Take you, Krista. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> my best friend. My best friend. To love you when you are beside me. To love you when you're beside me. And when you are apart from me. And when you are apart from me. In all the ways. In all the ways. This life may find us. This life may find us. Krista, please repeat. I, Krista, take you, Eric. To take you here to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, my best friend, my best friend, to love you when you are beside me, to love you when you're beside me, and when you are apart from me, and when you're apart from me, in all the ways, in all the ways, this life will find us. This life will find us. <laughs> Eric, please place these rings on Krista's left hand, third finger. got a few here. <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> Repeat to her, Krista. Krista. I give you these rings. I give you these rings. That you may wear them. As you may wear them. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And a symbol. And a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And my commitment to you. And my commitment to you. <laughs> Place this ring on Eric's left hand, third finger. And repeat to him. Eric, I give you this ring. Eric, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And a symbol. And a symbol of my love, of my love, and my commitment to and my commitment to you, Eric and Krista. You have consented in marriage in the presence of your witnesses, and in my presence, and you have made your intention of a marriage known to all of us. To make this relationship work, it's going to take love. This is the core of your marriage, and the reason we're here this afternoon. It's going to take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what's best for each of you. It's going to take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn to grow together in this marriage. When you take faith to go forward without knowing what this future forward has in store for you and it will take commitment to hold true to this journey that you have both pledged here today in front of your witnesses and in front of me to make this relationship work 
going to take all of your patience, kindness, and tolerance. May your marriage be long, healthy, and prosperous. And now by the power vested in me by the province of Alberta, I'm delighted to pronounce you now legally husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Hey, <laughs> 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 <laughs>